What is going on crows? Welcome back to another video. Today's epic. We got Hector involved and that means it's gonna be an awesome video. They're just destroying my grass. It no longer looks like grass. Look at the difference. Green, brown, green, brown. I went to the grocery store the other day and I passed up this giant bag of large carrots. Roll the clip. I couldn't help but just buy some of this for the pigs. Ugh. Dude, that is a massive sack of carrots, bro. The pigs are getting spoiled today. I couldn't resist but to purchase this $25 bag of carrots. Show us those carrots, Tommy. Oh my goodness, that's like four weeks worth of carrots for these pigs. Let's break this sucker open. And you are the first one to get one. Everyone's gonna get one, everyone. There you go. Some will eat them faster than the others. There you go, Bubba. Oh, wow, right through that thing. Look how many there is in this bag. I could just throw these all day and it's just never gonna make a dent. What do I do? <laughs> anyway, today's video is going to be, we built something right here. <sighs> just casually walking on it. <laughs> it's massive. We're building a massive, massive duck house but before I show you any of that of course these projects are expensive they're pricey and videos like these are not possible without our sponsors so big thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video and of course you can us for watching in just a little bit we're gonna start building today's video is brought to you by Manscaped when you think of Manscaped products you're probably familiar with their trimmers and formulations specifically designed for below the waist in fact Manscaped is trusted by over 4 million men worldwide for these premium tools and formulations like the lawnmower 4.0 body hair trimmer and the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. As the leader in men's grooming, Manscaped is now going beyond the groin with their new Plow 2.0 Safety Razor. For a super close shave for your face, neck, and beard. Just like everything else from Manscaped, the packaging is just beautiful. Look at this thing. A nice tight fit. It's got extra blades right here. If you're a fan of single blade, close shave solution with maximum performance, then look no further. This new single blade double-edged safety razor has a perfectly weighed brass handle and a zinc alloy head specifically designed for a precise, even stroke. Now, how do you use this blade, you may ask? Simply let the blade glide smoothly over the curves of your face using only one long stroke at a time. The Plot 2.0 is designed to reduce painful ingrown hairs and uncomfortable razor burn, unlike the cheap disposable razors. I love that it's this gunmetal gray color and it has a little bit of weight to it, too. You just know you're getting that premium product it's high quality stuff now here's a pro tip for you for the perfect shave every single time opt into the plow 2.0 blade replenishment plan as part of manscapes peak hygiene plan you'll save money which everyone loves and you will receive a quarterly replenishment of replaceable blades for the plow 2.0 safety razor delivered straight to your door hassle-free cancel anytime I love how the plow 2.0 just makes it so effortless to shave in the morning there's literally no need to apply any extra pressure because the precision weight handle does it all for you you literally just simply let this blade glide across your face. Freezing convenient travel, just be sure to check out the Shed Travel Bag by Manscaped. It is water resistant with a lined interior, creating the perfect place to store your high quality grooming products. Now go to the links in the description and get 20% off your order at manscaped.com slash Paul. That is 20% off plus free shipping using my link down below. I'm gonna shave you right back into the video now. A big old duck enclosure. The ducks are spoiled indeed, I told you. DC Farm 2.0 is a total different setup. We're going hard on everything. I even got a bunch of landscape coming for this enclosure right here, but I'm running around all day, hence why Hector's got this GoPro with him, and he's building building this. Got four by fours in every single corner, which is making it very sturdy. As you can see, building nice, beautiful houses for everything. Hi, Cole. Hector is filming on the GoPro right now still. Holy 38 minutes of footage I gotta go. That's gonna take a long time to go on the computer. <laughs> that is beautiful, look at that work. It is massive. I'm trying to show you how big this thing really is. It is huge. Very, very big. 12 feet long, 12 feet long. You gonna live in here? Yeah, man. <laughs> Practically, it is big and sturdy. Uh, 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 it ain't going nowhere. Hurricane Cat 5 coming in hot nowhere. And then it looks like this right now because this is like, essentially this is the skeleton of the building. What I'm standing on is the body. The, 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 you know? Just like the other house, see? We have it here and over there. 
you can see it. So everything's gonna match. That's being repainted the color of the house. This will be painted the color of the house, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Through every single enclosure that we make here, we'll have a house like this. This house though, with the price of wood, Hector, that one cost me, which is probably bigger with more wood, probably 1,200 bucks, yeah, right? More than 1,000 dollars. Yeah, 1,500. And this one? Just material, 1,500. Yeah. I could have done pallets and no, saved no. myself 1,000 dollars. Each plywood is uh, 60 something dollar. Yeah. It's ridiculous yeah. now. But hey, like I said, PC Farm 2.0 is gonna be the best you've ever seen it. So make sure to smash that like button for me, share this with a friend. Maybe my ad revenue will pay for this. I had to document uh, my idea to get a tripod going here for the GoPro time lapse. I thought it looked pretty good. I'm using a uh, post hole digger. And when you spread them apart, you know, they wanna come back together. So I said, let me just pry the GoPro between it and there we are. So without further ado, enjoy this time lapse. The roof is going on. Look at the amount of work gone into just the corners of these things. It is coming along. We've got the whole roof on practically, just a little back piece. And then shingles go on this as if it was another house. Literally, the shingles will go on and it's gonna look amazing. Nice coverage. They'll definitely stay dry away from all the rain, wind. The ducks are spoiled, let's put it that way. Gary and Kevin are gonna love this. Gary and Kevin, if you're watching, just know, dad's spoiling the sh Vamonos! That looks awesome, dude. That's crazy. That is a big old house. That sound is so satisfying. Shingles then go on top of that. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, so close. Looks good, man. You, you did a great job. It's, it's almost, almost You all done. did a great job, as always. Because once the building goes up, right there, this fence stretches across the corner of the building, and then wha-bam, we got another enclosure done. Oliver, how are you liking your crib upgrade? I forgot to show this, but yeah, we uh, completely reset up Oliver's cage, and he's got a whole hangout now. It's insane. Super, super cool hangout. Right, Oliver? You got a bunch of toys in there, too. Just coming out to check on Hector and see where he's at with this project. Him and the boys have been working super hard. I've been inside editing a video that you probably saw before watching this one, so. Bam, bam, bam. Getting things done around here at the PC farm. Yes, sir! Oh, yeah! Look at that beast from a distance. We got the pond here. I can't wait to have the waterfall in here, changing colors at night, a bunch of live plants, trees in the water. You name it, it's gonna be here. That music's probably gonna get me copyrighted. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm going home, man. <laughs> no music, no work. <laughs> I wanna show you guys, just like the other house we've built in the past, there's actually ventilation. So although this one doesn't matter as much because there's actually the whole front of it stays open. See his hand? It's out to outside, as you can see right there. But the whole front of this is gonna stay open, so. I don't really know where I was going with that, but regardless, there's nice airflow through the whole entire building. Cuts out like butter. Oh my gosh, you genius. Oh my gosh, I thought you were cutting it through. I just witnessed something so satisfying, I've never seen something like it. What? Oh my goodness, Hector, I'm giving you a raise. This year, right? Not next year. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We got a duck house. Let me tell you, this thing came out amazing. It's huge. It's built it's just as strong as my house that I stay in, and these are, these are ducks. So, sometimes I don't... I mean, look at me. A little bit of news before we get into showing you all of the duck house. Um, let me bring you over here. This, this, this building, the 1400 square foot fish building. The surveyors were here today and I snuck a little video of them. It means we're getting steps even closer because that's the last part of the permit that I need. And then it's just like, there's a lot that goes into building a big building like this. It's practically building a house. Anyway, the duck enclosure. We got the pond right here. It is done. It's literally ready to be filled up with water. I've already bought the fountain for this duck pond. We're gonna do some landscape like right here and like I mentioned, inside the pig enclosure. This house is obviously incredibly large, but it's gonna house as many ducks as we'd ever wanna keep in this enclosure. We're gonna paint this, that house, and the barn we're getting over there on Wednesday. We're getting a barn Wednesday, by the way. Wednesday! That'll be a video, of course. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss that. Woohoo! The duck house, the pig house, and the barn that'll be coming are all gonna be painted the color of my house. So everything will match. I also still need to paint this filter house. 
Unfortunately, that's all I got for you guys today. We're gonna go back to the OG farm next video, get a couple clips of the goats and stuff that are soon to come over to the new farm, and a whole lot more. I've got some crazy, crazy content for you guys this week. I know I've been posting less, but y'all know I've been saying this the last couple of weeks. It's been crazy behind the scenes, and it's all gonna pay off. When everything's done here, you guys are gonna be absolutely bombarded with so much content. Big shout out to Manscaped for keeping me fresh and sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, I'll see you right back here in the next one. I gotta get on the motorcycle to finish this one off. Tell me, take this. Watch the dogs chase me. <laughs> You feeding the pigs out here on lunch break? Yep. I got an ant on my hand. There's an ant on me. <laughs>